This period is a demonstration of cognitive behavioral therapy by Vidanshi Rana and Harshita. So Vidanshi, tell me, what do you want to talk about today? See, I gave this job interview today and I feel like I was a nervous wreck the whole time. I'm really dreading the process of applying for jobs and getting rejected. I have a gut feeling that this one went horrible because of my nervousness. I see. What goes through your mind while giving these interviews and after them? scared that I won't get a call back from any of the employers. I can't help but think that they all think I'm incapable and a waste of time. I have a huge fear of being rejected. Hmm. And how does the possibility of being rejected make you feel? It makes me feel like uh, a failure and I get really sad. So your fear of being rejected triggers those emotions, would you say? Yeah. See, Vidanshi, the thought that you described to me about other people thinking that you're worthless, it's an automatic thought. It's the tip of the iceberg and beneath that thought lies one of your core beliefs, which is what we will try to get to the bottom of today. So tell me, what does that thought mean to you, that people might see you as a waste of time? I think I do feel like a waste sometimes when I look at what my friends are able to achieve. Some of them are even working their dream jobs. I'm ashamed and guilty of not being able to do the same. So what if it was true? What if you were incapable? What would that mean for you? That there is something inherently wrong with me. Yeah. And what does that imply to you? that I'm worthless. See, that right there is the core belief. It's that I'm worthless. I'm a waste of time. We got here by doing this ladder and technique where any negative thought you told me about, I asked you what it would mean if it was true. So we broke it down to a deeper and deeper level and we got to this idea that maybe I am worthless. Core beliefs don't necessarily mean it's what you think about yourself. They could be your biggest fear and that if it was true, it would be devastating. And this thought pattern gets triggered anytime. An event in your life reinforces this idea. I don't think I actually logically think that about myself. Like, if you directly ask me if I'm worthless, I would have said no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so most people don't believe their worst fears about themselves are true, at least intellectually. But just the possibility of that idea about themselves actually becoming true is what scares them. And it leads them down to this path of thinking.